In today's video, I explain how fat burners work. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about a supplement such as a fat burner and how they work. And the question came in from my Instagram direct message. So if you guys are interested in asking me questions, and I've been getting a lot lately, so trust that I am going through them as much as I can and extracting a few of the good ones. Well, what I like to do is answer them here on my channel and share that information with anyone who might have a similar question. And so today's question, it seemed like a good one because it's something I've kind of been getting a lot lately. And when I start to notice recurring questions, it feels like it's a good time to answer it. So let's talk about how fat burners work. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the history of what they work, kind of the new modern fat burners and just the overall approach of how you should use them in my opinion. And the question, as I said, came from my Instagram direct message, so I'll put it on the screen here for you so you can see kind of the, the thinking behind how I get to these answers. So let's talk a little bit about the idea of a fat burner. Now, years ago, before I knew anything about nutrition and I used to just flip through muscle magazines, I would see ads for fat burners. And of course, it would show someone with chiseled abs and they would look fantastic and I would think, wow, that's a great product. Look at this thermogenic product that's guaranteeing these results. But I always looked at the fine print and it would always say combine with diet and exercise for best results. And so, I never was someone that would use a fat burner. Once I got into dieting and started getting in, interested in body composition goals, fat burners were certainly on the radar and certainly it's a, it's a very popular product among those who are trying to lose weight. So let's talk about the mechanisms behind how a fat burner works. So let's, let's say first and foremost that a fat burner does not work unless you are in a caloric deficit, okay? There will be no fat loss if you're not creating a caloric deficit through your nutrition and your activity levels, okay? There has to be a mechanism for the body to burn more than it is storing on a 24-hour basis, okay? So the idea that we can take a fat burner and just keep doing what we've been doing, I think some people actually believe this. They think they can just continue to live their life as normal and take a fat burner and they're going to lose a significant amount of body fat, which is not the case. So let's talk about how fat burners actually work. Now, fat burners, the real benefit for them, I find, is twofold. One, energy. All fat burners are stimulant-based, okay? Now, there are some newer um, non-stimulant-based fat burners, and I'm sponsored by a company called Core Nutritionals who has one. But for the most part in history, Fat burners have been stimulant based, meaning you take it and you get a perk of energy, much like you would get from a cup of coffee. This product, Core Burn Ultra, has green coffee extract or chlorogenic acid, okay? So there are some benefits in kind of liberating some gl glycogen for, um, for usage. And so there is a benefit to this, but remember, you still have to be in a caloric deficit. So the stimulant benefit is that you get a little bit of energy. And for anyone that's dieted down and tried to lose body fat, you know that there can be a increase on energy demands and you just feel run down a little bit. So I consider a fat burner not something that's going to work in the absence of you doing anything. It's going to allow you to be more effective at getting your work done, okay? So if the stimulant is the number one benefit. What is the second? Well, it's appetite suppression, okay? So one of the main issues with dieting and fat loss is that hunger is increased. So we know as we lose body fat cells, okay, we have less leptin. So our hunger is going to be higher more often. If hunger is higher more often, we're more likely to reach for a snack or when we start eating overconsumed calories, okay? So this is why it's important to have something like an appetite suppressant or a very strong will. Both are helpful. So if that's what a fat burner does, then when should you use it? What is the real benefit to using a fat burner? Well, in my opinion, the real benefit to using a fat burner is that you save it for when you need it. You know, when I send a client a, a plan right now and I have my supplement list on there for them to use, I don't currently list a fat burner as one of my main supplements. In fact, I have a pretty short list but 
what I'll do is when people ask me when should I be taking my fat burner, I'll say, how is your appetite and how is your energy? When I really like to add a fat burner is in the morning on days when I know I have to be very, very effective at my job and I'm going to be likely very hungry, okay? So it's a very good thing to take it in the morning and then get through, get a lot of work done, be focused, okay, and not think about food. It's going to help you reach your goal through making your job easier, okay, or making you better at your job. Most of us don't have the luxury of not being productive on a day-to-day -day basis, so that's how fat burners work. Twofold, appetite suppression and a boost to energy, okay? Now, the one thing that I really like about Core Burn Ultra it actually has a slow release caffeine. So it's not like just drinking a cup of coffee and you get that stimulant buzz, okay? It's actually a very slow release. So the benefit of this is that you don't get this stimulant increase and then a crash. It's a very slow release, even amount of energy over several hours, so you just feel good, okay? And so it just allows you to be productive. So hopefully this helps you. I don't wanna to get too scientific. I will put a link in the description box below with the science behind the ingredients if you would like to read ingredient by ingredient. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.